So today I'm going to share with you guys some ideas in which you can make money offline and online in Zimbabwe or wherever you are in the world. It doesn't really matter. But the offline kind of applies to Zimbabwe because that is where I am. I know a lot of people are struggling during this time and it is unfair that some have been told that you will not be coming back to work and we all don't know what's going to happen. But me sharing these ideas is just a way of saying, hey, you can do something and just start something. You never know if it's going to work out for you. Please do share this video. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. So the first idea for making money offline is being a delivery driver for companies that deliver food, uh, essential items like toiletries that deliver everything, you know. And you can be that driver who takes the food or the package to the home, whoever ordered. And you can make yourself some money through that. This doesn't have to be your only source of income. I think we have come to a world where one source of income doesn't quite cut it for a lot of people. So I thought maybe you can supplement with this one. And then the second point that I have for you is to grow and sell your own produce. If you have space, water in the manpower please go ahead and plant 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 your vegetables the vegetables that i can recommend from my personal experience that grow really fast in zimbabwe are spinach uh, lettuce tomatoes in other areas and during winter they will require protection against the harsh weather like for lettuce there's different varieties of lettuce the baby leaf lettuce it grows faster than the the other lettuce that that the one that formed the little ball like you, you you get what i mean okay the other idea is to turn your car or your house or your wall into a billboard advertise for other people i've seen it for sunlight uh, is it mac in a, a lot of brands that people paint their walls with and you're kind of advertising because you are sharing the message of the brand through your wall or your car. And the other idea that you can do in Zimbabwe right now is selling masks. Is sewing masks for schools. Schools are opening in South Africa soon. So you can go ahead and do that and market yourself and position yourself properly market through social media and we're also going into winter right now if you have a <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> if you have a jersey or scarf knitting machine this is the time for you to start sewing right now and sell and make money and the other idea is making homemade organic soaps some other people are so particular about organic or like cruelty free products and stuff like that so you can tap into that market by making your own organic soaps if you can make handmade soaps and sell them because people are required to wash their hands often so they will use more soap than they would use before and then the other idea is making self-care products a lot of people are going through the most they're going through anxiety depression all the best stuff maybe they've been bottling things and they're now faced with all those things alone at home so if you can make candles some scrubs that people can use at home to relax and maybe you can make some essential oils if you can all that self-care good stuff then go ahead and make those and make yourself a little bit of money while you are at it and so the other idea that you can make money in zimbabwe is buying and selling buying and selling items maybe from another person and then putting your own markup because this is how many zimbabweans have been surviving you just have to find the market that works for you and you don't have to be rigid be willing to evolve each and every time because our economy is not the most stable thing out there so you have to be willing to be evolving all the time. Okay, moving on to online ideas, ways in which you can make on money online, uh, whether you're in Zimbabwe or you're elsewhere in the world. So the first idea is to become a tutor or 
online teacher for a certain subject if you're good at something you can make an online course and make money while you sleep so people can buy your course learn something and then they will refer other people to your course so if your product is that good people will keep on coming through word of mouth re uh, referrals and you can also teach a skill that you are good at I've seen a lot of people do makeup online on YouTube and some have got some websites that they teach um, a certain skill. I don't know, like, you know yourself better than I do, so you know what you're good at. Look at that and see how you can package it into a product that people will be willing to buy. And then the other idea that you can make money online is being a personal trainer or a wellness coach. So a personal trainer is someone who helps you lose weight, help you, helps you implement a healthier lifestyle into your life. So if you're looking for that, there are courses that you need to do. But I've seen a lot of people with no qualifications whatsoever making millions online by being personal trainers and wellness coaches. I myself, I'm a wellness coach, so I have used this method to make money online. That is why I'm sharing it with you. And this is a shameless plug. If you do want my services, I will leave my Instagram account in the description box below. So you can click and DM me and we can get your healthy journey started. The other thing that you can do is freelancing or copywriting. So there are sites that you can go to online like Upwork and I will leave some sites in the description box below for freelancers, virtual photographers or even in-person photographer. You can advertise online because the market online is just that broad. Someone in your area can actually find you online. So you don't have to be rigid and say, I, want, I only want to be a virtual photographer. But for now, since we're in lockdown, this is the best option and maybe graphic designers people who design websites people who design logos can then put their portfolio online and people can find you and hire you and the other idea is transcription or translating transcription is listening to a video or an audio and then writing it down or typing it into a document a verbal communication this is big guys because video is everywhere and people also want to tap into the market of people who want to read so let's say i want to transcribe this video into a blog post i will then hire a transcriber someone who can trans transcribe this video into verbal communication so that people who love reading can then read this video and then translation is when i want people to understand a certain language let's say i want to tap into the ndebele uh, viewers who, are, who do not understand english i will then look for someone who can translate this video exactly what i'm saying in ndebele so that i can tap into that audience and reach them because they can now understand me if you get what i'm saying then give this video a thumbs up maybe <laughs> or maybe a like a follow subscribe and the other idea is being a video editor so this is also big because a lot of people are looking for ways in which that they can they can communicate their message through video companies are finding that video is the way to market these days because people people love stories people love uh, a great visual to maybe communicate a certain product so if you are good with the video editing softwares which you can teach yourself online then look for that work and it will pay you because a lot of companies are willing to pay or even youtubers some of them have video editors and some change video editors every time so that they keep their content fresh and interesting all the time the other way is to become a content writer some people have youtube channels or companies or a blogger has a youtube channel but they do not know how to 
script their ideas into a proper video okay so you can write content for people the other way that you can make money online is making your products maybe it could be art it could be any creative product honestly and then you can sell it on etsy it's very simple to sell on etsy i'll leave an account that i like on etsy and then maybe you guys can check it out you don't need a website to sell on etsy you don't even need to register with money you just need to register and then you can start selling and the other way is to have an online shop so the other way is becoming a social media influencer social media influencer is basically someone who advertises for companies um, a social media influencer advertise through their audience so companies want to reach people through you as a social media influencer if you have a huge audience on instagram or here on, on youtube then why not give it a try you can even start contacting companies yourself it's not a crime honestly and then you tell them what you're all about and be consistent with your work professional and clean photos and all that good stuff and then you can start making money i know some south african influencers make about 30,000 rand per post and that is just crazy because that's someone's salary for the whole month so let's say you are a social media influencer already then this is another way in which you can make money online by making merch merchandise for your brand let's say your name is be your own beautiful or your name is claudia and love like me you can start printing t-shirts sweaters and you know cups you know anything that you think your fan base will appreciate and want to buy and then you start selling it like nicole tv who's selling her satin bonnets and her sweaters and all that good stuff so that is another way in which you can make money online so the other way in which you can make money online is starting your own blog or youtube channel like this youtube channel so before you make money on youtube yeah if you want to make money through the youtube partnership program you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time so i will leave a video for you guys if you want to like go in depth with that and want to understand same as blogging you really need your numbers for you to make money through blogging so you have to be consistent and build your audience who are interested in what you're posting and youtubers can also make money the same way social media influencers make money by through sponsored posts or sponsored videos here on youtube and they can also make money through affiliate links i know you've seen a lot of youtubers saying uh, use my hashtag code blah 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 for the price for 10 percent off something like that it means that um they get a certain percentage like commission for selling that product for that company or you can even do amazon affiliate marketing like um, you're marketing a certain book on amazon or a certain product that you really love and you're a youtuber then you give people you the link to your the link to the product or you can even market cameras cell phones i mean the list is just endless any product that you can market there are so many ways in which uh, in which youtubers can make money here online